healing, all that good stuff. It is Wednesday, but Jonathan. Ooh, I mean JJ. See, I always say JJ. I mean Jonathan. Jonathan, JJ, there you go. It's not just any Wednesday. It's not just any Wednesday. You know what time it is, sir? Yes, it's time for what's going on Wednesdays. I'm Aaron Gavin. I'm Jonathan Jones. Welcome to another great episode of What's Going On Wednesdays. Okay. So, um. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, our Smooth Club podcast every Thursdays. Great show. It's coming on Great. tomorrow. Tomorrow evening at 7. Okay, at 7 on Regular Evil TV. Be sure to tune into that. But now you're, you know, you're in. What's going on? I just had to put that, you know, that promotion out there. Um, uh, this is a kind of a hard discussion to talk about because, again, JJ, what else is new? Right, what else? And people like to judge a person by their appearance mm-hmm. and always assume that, hmm, you're the suspect. That's you. You're the suspect. So, you, you've heard the story of the lady accusing the young, I think it was like 15, 14 or 15, yeah. New Zealand, her cell phone. Um, and of course, it didn't happen. Yeah, of course. Uh, but, you know, the video went viral because this girl had went bonkers. Uh, B look straight crazy. Um, you know, accusing this kid, tackling him down, and you know, accusing him that he stole my phone, he stole my phone. She was confident that he stole her phone. And you know, the father was defending his son because he's like, What's going on? We are just in your mind our business. Why are you abusing my child? And it made huge headlines. It's still going on right now, right? Still going on right now. Of course, the the uh, the lady who accused the, the kid of stealing phone. Of course, she retrieved the phone back from the I think the, the, the Uber. It, it yes, was, she left it in the Uber. So that being said, I'm gonna kind of bring it on because oh yeah, that thing on uh, got arrested. Yeah, in custody right now. She got arrested. There's already been um, a trouble before. Um, I think she's on probation right now. So this was ain't looking too good. I mean, you know, we normally don't. You know, we talk all positive, you know, vibes here and. Um, We do, we do, but you know what I mean. You know, we, we always keep it positive here on what's going on Wednesdays. Positive and but informative. Positive, exactly, positive but informative. But we get tired because, you know, hey, you happen to see on this video that you're watching, we're not just two men, we are African Americans. So, you know, we're in that same boat with that gentleman. We could that could that could have been us, you know, we could have been accused of something. And you really just you shouldn't ever judge a person by their parents. At at all, no matter what complexion you are, but really just don't don't accuse a person because okay, look, you look suspect. I'm gonna use someone's phone, boom, I'm gonna accuse you. Don't do it. Don't do it. And you know, it's your, it's your I think Gail King had an interview or something with her, and that was funny because mm-hmm. he was just trying to tell, like, what's the deal, dude? What's the deal? Yeah. Like, I mean, Gail been on a roll ever since the R. Kelly video, I guess, but, <laughs> but really, like, it's just, it's. She her the whole the whole other matter is like the oh. girl's twenty two and the boy was fourteen. It's like you still like you make a whole scene in a, a hotel lobby. It's accusing a young boy that he had your phone and you knew that he had your phone and they just came down from like the elevator. It it still blows my mind when I see the video. I mean, again, I just hope she learns from this and that she you know. I mean that's all I, that's all I can say. You know, I, I never want to I never want to wish any anything on anybody. But again, you I mean, gotta learn from she wanted to make a scene so look, she, now, 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 <laughs> she's famous, so that's what you Yes, think. she is very famous. I don't think it was the famous that she was looking for. I mean uh, that's hey. what you want you want that attention. You and you know what's even funny? The person that she accused her of his dad happens to be a Grammy Award winning mm-hmm. saxophonist or a uh, 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 yeah, I think a saxophone or a flute. I know he's a, a jazz musician. And he's a talented guy. He's a talented guy, accomplished. Wrong and I mean, duh, yeah. That, I mean, that's pretty much it. And at the end of the day, y'all, I hope what y'all get from at least you know what we're what we're talking about is just again, don't judge a person by the cover. Matter of fact, say hi to a person, make a new friend. I mean, I know it's COVID, but I'm just <laughs> saying like you know, smile, the smile. There you go, smile to <laughs> the mask. Okay, wait, nod your head, say hello. If someone, you know, don't make it always. Okay, I gotta keep my eyes on the swivel. Don't, don't do that. Don't, please, don't do that. Cause that's just, 
And, and, and I feel bad because the kid was 15, 15, 14 years old. He's a teen. So something like that is always going to be scarred, you know, with his life. Even though no, it said that he was like, he, I guess, went to like some type of counseling for it. Yeah. Yeah. So then people want to sit there on social media, Facebook, and like laugh at something like that. It's like, you don't know him. Like, he's obviously was probably like a sheltered kid. Is that, is, and now you want to sit there and laugh? Like, if you were a young child and somebody's sitting there trying to attack you and grab you, I don't see the humor at it at all. Like honestly, you know, I just, I just, you know, I pray that the, you know, the kid just, you know, continues to, you know, definitely get better because this event really is always going to be, yeah. in, you know, installed in his mind, you know, for for long periods. But I hope, uh, I hope everything, um, um, just, I hope everything goes good. So again, you know. I hope, I hope that goes good. That's all I gotta say, man. I really, I really kind of. I want to move on to the next one. I want to move on to the next topic. So on a positive note, um, for all you baseball fans out there, Dodgers player Mookie Betts. Mookie, that is M O O K I E. Mookie Betts. Mookie. <laughs> I just always don't say his name. Anyway, Mookie Betts just proposed to his girlfriend of 15 years. 15? How old is he? He is 28 years old. So what was that? Boy. Uh, uh, They've been dating since they were 11. No, I'm joking. Um, fi- yeah, 15 years. Uh, he's 28. 28 years old. He proposed at middle school. Pretty much middle school, but I'm like, when did you know? It's, she was a one man. Yeah. When did you know she was a one man? What, what happened? What happened? COVID, COVID. Hey, Mookie, Mookie waited for that big contract. They said, look, now we can do it. <laughs> 28. 28, 28 man. Years. Gave her a seven carat shoe. I don't want to say a seven carat yeah. ring. I want a wedding ring, but I just want a seven carat. You know, so that's crazy. But uh, yeah, so huge congrats to uh, Dodgers player Mookie Betts and his uh, his now fiance. Mm-hmm. Man, after 15, 15 years, years. I'm just just think about that. After 15 years. I mean, really, like when you think about it, I mean, there's there's musicians. I'm thinking like of uh, uh, Lamar, uh, uh, Kendrick Lamar, um, uh, Chance. They've been with their brides for you know, I mean, shoot, Steph Curry. They've been with their brides for years. Like I mean, Chance was with this girl before he was famous. Yeah. They with Lamar. Before they were famous, they still stuck to Yeah, them. but it's not even like he just got to the, the MLB, though, right? Like, if he's 28, like, you've been in there a lot of you like, what, 19, 20 years old? So he had been in the league and was still like, mm, eh. That is true. That is true. But, I mean, they, and they have they have a beautiful uh, kid together. Mm-hmm. And I think it's a two-year-old. And, uh, dang, so it wasn't even like, <laughs> dang. I'm still getting, I'm still, I'm still getting the fact that, after 15, 15 years. years. If you gotta make sure, you gotta make sure, I guess. I mean, dang, but after, like, for me, I think it will be, it will honestly be maybe, uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe four to five, at least. You know, I, I feel like that's the yeah. average, you know, people use. Well, I mean, if I was in MLB, maybe six. I mean, I mean, if I was in middle school. Be reviewing the MLB, like, they didn't have no right. They didn't be like, I live it up. I would, I would probably wait like maybe a year or two after I'm in, just so like you get used to that old lifestyle and y'all are settled down. That is true. But like, true. I wouldn't be waiting no six, seven years after I'm already been in the league and I'm just chilling. Like, you already got a kid. I'm, I mean, hey, that's him. Well, you know, it's funny because I'm sorry. I'm like te- I'm like texting during the show. So I'm sorry. Cool, I, cool, I, cool. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. Hey, you know, work never stops, man. Work never stops. But uh, yeah, I, I think if I if I think it's good for him, and especially too, he knows that's a right about because you know the whole thing as a I mean, you're trying to thing. high school whatever. <laughs> I mean, like, hey, I'm just saying that girl. She she knew he was gonna be the best. That's definitely a right about. I mean, you know. Every professional athlete, they always, you know, they you, you get that conversation like, Ooh, be careful with your, you know, mm-hmm. of course with your money, be careful yeah. who you you mess with because, you know, I'm just being real. You got reality shows entitled basketball wise, mm-hmm. or you know, I mean, I'm just I'm just saying like whatever they've had a, they've had a basketball wise, they got a, a base, but I think they had a baseball one, a football ball as well. I mean, they just mm-hmm. they got so many you know spinoff shows and it gets you know. It's a, that's a hard thing, but to have that special someone that's been with you before you were famous and stick with you, hey, hey kudos to Mookie Best. Shout out to Mookie shout Best. Congratulations, Mookie. man, and all that good stuff. Now, I'm a Yankees fan, but hey, shout, shout out to you. Mm. Um, yeah, go Yankees. Mm. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's about uh, 
in the end of the show right there, guys. So hey, for all you beer sporters out there, I know you're checking out these great looking beers right here. I mean, look, ooh, ooh, yes, yes. You want Rugged Evolution Beer Care. For more information, go to ruggedevil.com, okay? Ruggedevil.com. Check it out. You got some great beer care products right there. As well as please subscribe to Rugged Evil TV. That's R U G G E E V O. And then two other TV on YouTube. Subscribe with the like button, all that great stuff. Continue to tune in every Wednesdays for what's going on Wednesdays with myself, along with my main man, my good friend, Mr. Jonathan Jones. As well as tune in every Thursdays to our weekly talk show slash podcast, Our Smooth Club, the show where everyday men discuss everyday topics. You don't want to miss it. We are still in the midst of our first season, guys. Our first season, and it is, I'm telling you, we got some great discussions. It's it is so much fun. It's myself along with a few of our uh, great friends that work within them in business. Huge, big, huge uh, age group bracket, 25 to 60, man. I'm telling you, some deep, deep discussions. Y'all do not want to miss it. So that's every Thursdays at 7 on Rugged Evil TV. Y'all take care. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesdays. And please remember that Rugged is the new smooth.